Hey YouTube, today I will show you how to play PS2's uh, games on your computer. Um, of course, for this, you're going to need a very good computer. So I suggest uh, for your memory RAM, you should have at least one gig or more of uh, memory and hard drive space. Considerably good considering the size of the games are your ISO images, ROMs, and also a good processor. Most likely uh, Intel Core 2 Duo or more would be better or and also a good graphics card alright now we'll show you how to do everything uh, first of all you're gonna need the emulator which is PC uh, SX2 9.6 which is the current one for now as of today and uh, also you're gonna need uh, bi the BIOS which I also posted both links in the description you can get it anytime now I'll show you. Once you have those two downloaded, extract the files to your desktop and then I'll show you right what you have to do. Uh, open up your PSX2, install it and uh, sh it will show up like this. Well, not for you because uh, it shows up for me directly like this because I have everything set. But for you, it should show up something like this as soon as you come in you're gonna ask to configure and you're gonna come to the configuration which should this should be all set pretty much except for a few things that I'll show you afterwards the second thing you have to worry about is setting your bios your bios directory usually I would consider you putting uh, a making of new folder and then putting the PSX uh, emulator in there and the bios in there but not together and then uh, uh, find the BIOS from within there because you have everything organized from there. Now, what you have to do is set your BIOS directory and you're going to locate where your BIOS folder is. And then, once you do that, just click OK and you'll have this set. Once there, you're going to scroll down, you're going to go to USA V 2.0. Uh, this one I say because it works well with most games, so you should be set. Uh, when you do when um you play most of the PS2 emulated games. Um that's good for now. Uh one of the other things uh, that I want to talk to you about a few things uh is considering your graphics uh controls and your speed hacks. The three main things you should be worried about. Uh the first thing I'll show you about your graphics uh Basically, you can raise your level, your resolution at windowed, windowed, unless you want it to be set for full screen. But I'd suggest a Windows because windowed, because um, when you have to type in commands, and certain things to fix your games, uh, it's easier to leave it in Windows than to have it full screen. Um, so just leave it at that. And for your uh, Redender or your Direct 3D, depending on your graph, uh, your computer or your capability, you can either leave it at Direct 3D 9 hardware or Direct 3D 10 hardware. Uh, I leave it at Direct 3D 10 hardware because my computer is uh, considerably awesome, very very powerful computer that I have right now. So for me, I just leave it at maximum for right now. And for the ra for the X for all these things, you can leave it just fine. That'll be set. And now, uh, the second thing I want to tell you about is, oh, of course, your uh, controls. The one of the most important parts. Um, before this, you want to leave it. Yeah, uh, your configuration at Lily Pads, and I'll show you that right now. Uh, your config. Configure. You should leave your see first controller. You should leave out LilyPad 9.9. .9. And uh, let's say you're configuring your controls uh, from there. Remember, you have to. Uh, you should uh, leave your keyboard uh, API at uh, raw input. And uh, if you have one of these pads uh, disabled, enable them. Usually, you only need one. Uh, so uh, enable that if it's not already enabled, and uh, and that should be set here. Once you have your pad, you have all the sets for the buttons on your PS2 remote. Of course, you can use a uh, game controller for your PC, your PC game controller. Uh, but for people that don't have it, you can also use your keyboard, which a lot of people say you can't use it. It's not true. You can, but it's just complicated on the controls. But once you get it, it's pretty first simple. 
all you have to do is click on each button and then press the key in which you want that button to be specified uh, and I already have all mine set and after you done with all the buttons settings you just click apply and then OK and that should be set for your controls uh, then one of the last things you want to worry about uh, hold on a second here let me just figure okay the last thing you want to uh, worry about since I already talked about the gra the graphics controls and uh, your speed axe uh, it's going to be your configure again uh, one of the things that you want once you download an ISO and that, yeah the game that should be an ISO image or you download it from somewhere usually uh, of course you're gonna have to specify on how to play it if you decide to burn the image into a CD and then be able to play from the CD you'd have to go from gigahertz uh, CD DVD plugin 7.0 in your CD DVD ROM section just click on that and then configure uh, select your drive and afterwards uh, you can that'll be set there but if you have uh, the ISO image in your your desktop or the ROM on your desktop uh, or somewhere in the computer that you really need to uh, set up to play just click on your Linux ISO CDVD uh, 8.0 and then click on figure find where it's uh, placed and then uh, click OK and that will be set for you to play that game um, in any case uh, you're pretty much done as of right now with the presettings and everything. There's only one more thing I wanted to show you before uh, I'm done here and that is for the saving options. So right now I'm going to start the game that I have and I'll show you that right now. It's gonna run. Click uh, run CD DVD and you're gonna run the game right now. And while you're running this game, see what I told you? You could have maximized the screen so you actually didn't really need the uh, the full screen so it's pretty good in this way the mouse if you didn't uh, choose the mouse to interfere with the game it won't but I suggest you just leave the mouse out of it uh, because you don't really technically need it not to play the games anyways and the game should be playing right now should be working good since I'm playing Kingdom Hearts uh, this is the game of course it's showing up and the other thing that I also want to show you is the uh, um, what's it called the uh, save states uh, which is uh, save the way you can save your game to play basically let's say I have the game on like I had a minute a second ago and uh, I already was playing the game for a while and I saved it at a certain location and you want to go back to it uh, basically what you do while you play the game that you had before you save it which basically you would press the F1 key to save it and once you come back like I said before to uh, to that same spot you wanna press F3 to load that same uh, load state so basically it's very simple once you when you're playing and you wanna save that certain in that certain section of the game just press F1 and you're gonna save the state and then when you come back playing it again once you activate your emulator to play the game again uh, press F3 at any point in the game when you start at any point in the game and uh, it will load to that section into that part of the game where you last saved and you play from there it's very simple straightforward the basic controls that you have to know just make sure you memorize your controllers that you set remember in the lady pad and you should be set and that's it I hope this was a good tutorial for you guys and have a fun time playing the game. See you guys.